Hello everyone, I'm Greycloak, thank you for joining me, and welcome back to episode 107 of Factorio with the Space Exploration mod, where we just set up something for this power, I think. We were trying to build solid rocket fuel, well, solid fuel and rocket fuel down here. Got distracted a little bit, I think. And we also just wanted to go and fix this train before going back, I think. So let's go and do that. And then go back to rocket fuel production. So you have actually filled up those wagons. Okay. We do not have... We do have fuel here. Okay. I guess these are just old stations or something where I didn't plan for this or something else. I don't know. But this should help for sure. Though we should have used fast inserters. For some reason those look very green to me and... I couldn't understand that, but they are just normal inserters. Good. One problem down. This station is currently back at base. And that is part of what we want to remove, I guess. Though we will have to empty this out first. Should we just go and disconnect that so we don't keep storing more rocket fuel there? I think that would be a good idea. Good, we seem to have been restocked. This is coming all the way from over here, of course. If we just disconnect that and hope that the trains will empty it out, then we are good. Yeah, let's just get back to work. We still need to design whatever we want to build at the rocket fuel base. So that's probably what most of this episode will be spent on, but we'll see. Maybe it's simple. So these are the things we want to do in greater numbers than that. If we want a full build of this, that is a lot of oil. This would still be the most efficient way, but that is 7,000 oil per second. That's not going to be something we do, I don't think. But we needed to launch rockets for liquid rocket fuel. So we do need a good amount of it. So maybe we're just going to design for this and then try and fix oil problems later. Or are there better ways to get this? No, there's only that one way. Are there other ways to make solid rocket fuel? from pyroflux, from water and copper. This is less expensive in resources, but it is very power intensive. It takes 500 seconds in a fuel refinery. And a fuel refinery takes 1.1 megawatts? No, I don't think so. That might be for the whole recipe. 
Actually, we didn't bring any of those. Okay. Uh, macro consumption, one megawatt, yes. For 500 seconds, that is a lot of power. But this is still what we want to be doing for now. We want to do it with modules and speed beacons. Why did that not work for this? I don't know. So that's still a lot of machines for oil cracking at least. Of course, this will be less if we also crack heavy oil to light oil. And do petroleum to solid fuel. And matrix solve it. Then it's only 2300. 2400 fuel per second, oil per second. Good. That is more manageable, but still a lot more than we currently produce, I think. Yeah, 43,000 per second is only 600 per mi Oh, 43,000 per minute is only 600 per second. Okay, but that might be limited by the stations being full, so we'll see when we start using this stuff. Good. We did send a train for this. Did I use the wrong wagons for this? Yes, I did. Let's fix that up. Good. These are both for output. We need to make uh, barrels locally. That is not where we want to make barrels though. Let's do it up here. No productivity for that, that's fine. These should be connected to the logistic network. And only allowed to make if we have less than 100 available. Good. And then we need to barrel up some of this stuff. I think we're going to remove this to have direct insertion into the barrel machine. Fill crude oil. That should be able to supply us with a lot of barrels. If not, we will speed it up. What? Copy. Paste, paste, paste. Good.
Why is this off? What? Is that just a bad blueprint? I just put the station down, I think. Yes, this is off here. Yep, those are off. Okay. I can move from here though, so that's nice. Where else have we been doing this stuff? Those are correct. This is also placed incorrectly. Maybe that's why I'm so confused about this. This should be taken from this. What? Yes, it is off. What the heck? Please don't take from anything. Time to update some blueprints. All of this needs to move down one tile, right? Yes. One tile though, not two. So now this lines up. If we just put a train down, let's just double and triple check this. So far so good. Those are still being loaded with fuel. That's good. This will be reached by three. Three, three, three. So this is the new unloading. And for loading we use the same thing, we just turn all of these around. Save, so we have loading and unloading. Good. Now we should probably go around and fix that, but I feel like we should do something productive for now and actually get this part of this designed. It's going to suck though, because this can't be here now, because this needs to move, move over, which means this needs to move over and this needs to move over. Yeah, well, let's do some designing. This, of course, is just for solid rocket fuel. We also just want solid fuel. If we also want a build of this, we just need more oil. 
how much do we need this for? Just the speed modules? Okay. We do not need a lot, but maybe 45. And maybe we do that by itself. Or we just use the stuff from the petroleum. But then we can't really scale it up or down if we use byproducts. Didn't I just add that? No, I added this. Okay. So let's design one setup for this and then a separate setup for solid fuel. Okay, we don't want this linked. We want 45. But for this, we also need cracking. And petroleum handling matrix 45 and 45. And if we go in here, That doesn't affect other machine types than we are selecting, it seems. But this works. And we'll just have to do this manually here then. Okay. So we should need less crude oil. Now this will be the default as well. Good. And we just need a little bit of oil for that. This one is pretty dang simple and small to, to set up. We'll wait with that. Let's do the more complex one first. So, need a lot of these. We want them beaconed. We want them moduled. We get more than a belt, a pipe of this in, but we're going to unload the pipe, not the pipe, the oil anyway, from a machine, from robots. So we're going to need something like this. Are we close to water? Yes, we're always close to water in this map. Good, good. How did I mess that up so bad? I don't know. Guess I was too focused on that one chest. Never mind that. So we potentially need 25 times this times two. If we can fit a beacon in here. Just have that for every two machines. Then it is difficult to fit this in across from the other setup. How are the fluids here? We need more than one pipe for this anyway. 
So if we took this and mirrored. Something like this. Then it fits. And we just need to not mix these or these or these. Because they have different products. But that should be okay. This is just in case we do want to mirror this, of course. But I think we do. Good. And then we just need a lot. I think I am just going to paste this out. Of course, we can't have all of these. Thirty-two. We need another eighteen then. Or maybe a little bit extra. And of course, this stuff gets in the way again. Can we just remove that, please? Can we get a bigger cursor, please? This is ugly, but at least we can work with it. Now we have 52. But maybe that's fine. Can just remove the last two here. It's just the beacon seems a little bit wasted then. Okay, so this would produce a lot of stuff for us, or for us if we wanted it to be like this. We could also just do half of this setup. And do it twice. Or one fourth of this setup and do it four times. Depending on how we want to do stuff. Actually, I think we want more direct insertion than we would be able to here. So if we just think a little bit further ahead. Also, this needs to be... No, it's fine. 1100 in each pipe. Maybe we would still need more, but yeah, that's for later. First. Petroleum needs to be processed by itself. We need to crack heavy oil. And then we need to process... The light oil. If we do half of this per setup, I am going to just scale down for the designing phase here. 25, we have 26, right? Yes. Then let's do cracking. And then we can do all of the heavy or solid oil afterwards. Need water for cracking as well, that's fine. Is that how we want to do this? Maybe. It would be very much easier if it was the opposite, though. Wait, 
No, it wouldn't. Never mind. It doesn't make a difference. And it doesn't really matter. We need this seven times. Three, four, five, six, seven. And these do line up somewhere. Okay. We won't get a lot of heavy oil, so it's not too, too bad to work with. We won't get a lot of light oil here, but combining it with this could still be a problem, potentially. Twenty-five of these doing light oil to... They do not make salt fuel. So again, it's just Helmark being wrong. I think I ran into this problem earlier as well. But let's just check, because we let it a big setup up here. Also, we could try and reuse this, but we want beacons. I am curious though, could we just adjust? Can't fit beacons in here. Would be difficult in here-ish. That could actually work. We'll see. We are doing solid fuel stuff. Then what? I am have using the wrong machine. Dang it, my bad. Need me some of these. Thank you. It's just me being confused. This is easy. Twenty five, right there. Good guess. He can overload, that's not good. It would be fixed maybe by moving stuff up. No, we still get problems. Then if we place all of this down here, we get different gaps, of course. Do we have any beacon overload here? I don't think so. Would this be overloaded? Yes. Are these the same length? Yes. 25. I think I'm just going to go away from this entirely. Don't have a lot of space for this then, or this. Unless we just want to add in another row, but it seems like a lot of space or a lot of widening of the footprint to be able to do that. I sort of do want to move this down three tiles. And I also want to add this to the top.
So we need robot coverage on both ends. I'm just dating some of the obvious here for myself mainly. This needs to be merged with other stuff. But it isn't too bad if it's just merged down here and consumed from this end. And this will have another connection up here somewhere. Then we're not trying to squeeze it all through the same piece of pipe. This is seven. Okay. I think we're just going to connect this so I don't forget. And power it, I guess. Now the output of this needs to all go into eight of these, along with more of this, by the way. I just want to see if we can draw inspiration from up here. We built it all around. doesn't seem too great though we have more machines here than we probably do in the new setup 70 compared to 38 hmm What if we just did all this in a series or serial setup, whatever? I'm basically going back to the uh, mirrored setup again. Do we really want to do that? Because I don't want to now take. 13 of these put out here and then this is what we copy around that seems a little stupid space wise it's not like we need space but if i wanted to do let's leave this but copy it i guess if i want this all to be more serial We would want these to be mirrored. Well, water out here. And then we somehow need to get the solid fuel in there. Then we could put all of this on a belt, potentially, though that is a lot of belts. And that is part of the problem. We would want to decrease this in size until we had just one belt of this stuff. And then we would want to do nine of these setups, I guess. I do almost six per second. This is a lot smaller, but that might also just be more manageable. Seems to be a little bit too small though, but we'll see. 
I need seven of these first. Seven. And let's actually just sort this around in the order I want it to be done. So first the oil cracking, then cracking heavy oil, then probably using our petroleum and then our light oil. Because we also need the light oil for this. Can we even manage all those pipes? I don't know. How many chemical plants? Just two? Oh, we could do something like that. Connect those. Run this further. These won't be beaconed by this now, though. If the first one goes in here. The problem is I would want to maybe either mirror this or just place another setup next to this that didn't need the beacons by itself. And this would mess that up. So we would want it to be properly mirrored. Just do something like this, maybe. We can even move these. Still need this to go past here, though, so... It's just those two, never mind. So that can keep on going. Why didn't I pin this? I don't know. So two first steps done. Then we process petroleum. Then we process light oil and then we put it all together. Needed just two of these. Need blue belt. I don't know if we want to do this or try to cover as much as possible up here. Might as well just cover as much as possible, I guess. Yeah, 
And why don't we just test this out so far? Oil. Water. need better output than this, <clears throat> at least for the later parts of this. We need seven or light oil. Whoops. Maybe we're just going to do eight for my sanity, but we'll see about that. It would actually fit better with the beacons if we didn't have that. Okay. Now we might just do loaders to output this stuff, but we'll see. And actually, I just need two of those to make this. And now I was wrong, I could just do that last extra machine. <clears throat> Honestly, the only reason I want this extra machine is to be able to more easily balance this. But if we use Lotus, that's not a problem. So isn't that a bit stupid? A little bit. We are going to need the full belt into these two, so maybe we should also use Lotus there. But well, let's see how it goes. Move these out to cover the beacons. These need to output to a belt. And they might as well share with the mirrored setup, I guess. Then we need to balance this belt. And the easiest thing really is to just use Lotus. We may want to unpair them then. Because if I just do this. Then 
Then after going halfway up, we need to upgrade to blue belt, but maybe we should just upgrade it anyway. And these do not output. How did I mess this up? Output from the top, output from the top, output from the top. Then suddenly I don't output from the top anymore because I don't underground here. Okay. Stupid. Is it because I couldn't paste on top of this? I guess it is. Good. So that's all of this done. I'll just do two of these for each. This should be almost six per second. This belt is just, just needs to be full, then everything is good. But that might have been backing up. So we'll just clear that out if we can. Input is too slow, even with two inserters. This one has an easier time because the stuff that needs to go in stops. So we really need to do loaders to input here. That sucks a little bit. Unless it was the output that was messed up, but we'll see. Something like that, maybe? This seems to work. Let's clear out these backed up machines again. Okay. Can we figure out how to mirror this then? Or can we just take the whole thing? Is this the same width all the way? As then we don't even have to mirror. But then these need to move back again. Two tiles. But that isn't really a problem, is it? Oh, 
is not a problem, I don't think. And then, even though they're not mirrored, I think I am just going to pair them up for the balance belt. Can't move this down, right? No. Why did this stop? Because I made mistakes, maybe? No. Oh. We need to prioritize the output of these, but that's okay, we can prioritize just fine. Input priority right. I just can't let it back up, I guess. Which is a little bit bad. We also need to prioritize these over these somehow. Could I guess do that by running this all the way to the other end? Before connecting it up. We don't have that much fluid in these pipes anyway. This is fine now. Output is probably just blocked, yes. I did want one of these to be here. So that's about 12 per second. Or one fourth, or more than one fourth of our output. I don't know. Yeah. But now this is suddenly too wide, isn't it? And it doesn't need to be. As if we copy this whole thing, won't it stay right up against each other now? Can't overlap the pipes anyway. But yeah, this is a somewhat nice footprint. Good. And this is not too big or anything. It's manageable. Good. And we just need to clean it up, I guess, for modules and the infinite stuff. And hope that this priority works. Oh well. Unfortunately, that's all we have time for in this episode. So thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.